Hi, I'm Ben Clinch from the Free Range Butch. I'm here today with my parents, Peter and Trish, and one of our dogs, Sal. He's enjoying herself here. We say hello, Sal. We um, I've talked about we bought the property in the early 80s. It was a drought when we turned up um, shortly after it broke. We're in probably sheep country here, Pete. Fine wool sort of country. It's fine wool sheep country. That's basically what it is. It's uh, white box grasslands, like we said earlier. Uh, the dominant of grasses is the red grass through the summer, which is quite good grass. But once it gets a frost, we do need oats or something to supplement the protein through the winter time. Because the frost is hitting, and obviously um, the cold then kills all your, your summer native grasses. So the, the cold, the frost kill the native grass, takes all the protein out. So uh, we have got to uh, look after the stock in the winter time pretty well. It gets fairly warm here. Today's um, 30 plus, 37, near 40 degrees or something like that. They're forecasting. Forecasting about 30 normally. So it's a pretty good typical day here. There's a bit of a breeze blowing. It's a yeah, quite nice still, but yeah. it does get warm through the middle of the day. So I tend to do your work early and, and later in the evening. The winters, on the other hand, get um, get fairly fairly cold. We used to get snow. I remember as a kid growing up. And some years there was um, snow here, but you're always getting a sleety week or two at times. And you know, we do get a bad frost. Well, we can get a week of bad weather in the winter. We normally get one or two falls of snow. It doesn't always settle, but it does. Uh, does sort of fall and you can see it sort of drifting down. Cold enough to want to stay, by, stay inside by the fire. The anyway. fire goes uh, 24 hours a day once we switch it on about uh, April and goes right through about October. Cut a bit of wood? There's a lot of wood cutting through the winter. No wood cutting wood. I'm not good at I'm cutting. good at delegating. <laughs> The, um, and going back to the type of country we've got, it's a fine wool country. Why do you describe it as that and not as, and not as finishing country or beef country? Like where it, it doesn't grow a big bulk of uh, feed, uh, which your finishing country does, and it's a little bit not quite as sweet as your finishing country, but your finishing country doesn't get the rain fall that we do, which is round about that 40 inch rain. So they're obviously on a, a more sort of cropping in that finishing country, they're growing crops to finish out? Uh, growing crops generally to finish out. And we've now obviously taken the pigs on in the last few years. We've had cattle um, over the last sort of 20, 25 years, and at times we've had more cattle than not. The droughts have knocked them about um, a few times. Yeah, with the improvement of the country, we've definitely lifted the stocking rate up. We would uh, anticipate joining between sort of 1,500, 2,000 years each year. Uh, and we would like to be joining around about 100 cows. And the pig line is, <laughs> uh, look, we generally stick to about uh, 20 sows. 20. Yeah. We would like a few more, but until I'd like it's, to a few more, wouldn't I? Uh, until it's sort of running as, a, as, as a, an efficient sort of operation, I'd like to stick at 20 sows. So I think it's a, it's a mixed farming operation. We do. We do uh, plant crops to get us through the, the winter months. We um, obviously got our, our land production and our fine wool uh, production, which is probably more suited to the, the type of country we are. Um, we do run a few cattle when the seasons are right for us, and we try to finish our stock when the seasons are right. Unfortunately, over the last five or ten years, it's been a bit sort of up and down as far as predicting rain and rain events, um, and with climate uh, changing, uh, there's been some challenges there. So. Um, the pigs are always something that obviously that I want to move into more and more these days, a, a more stable um, long term income, but um, farms have always got their hearts and beef and lamb is where it is. So thanks for talking to us today, we'll um, talk to you again soon.